practicing in Uganda, anthropologists are urging African traditionalists to learn to adopt new ways of life as modernity sets in. This follows increased fusion of Western cultures into the traditional African way of life. Here's Hilary Ayasiga again with this report. 75-year-old Francis Swabwire grew up doing communal work. Together with his brothers and sisters, they would shape the road with holes. I went to school when I was nine years old. So during that time, I was responsible to clear the piece of the road my father was, which was allocated for him. Apart from clearing the roads, locals would come together to sanitize water points, sow and harvest crops, and help neighbors in case of problems. This type of communal work was done twice a month and was partly driven by the hierarchy that used to be in place. Here in Buganda where I am, Kabaka was the top leader. And whichever we are doing, the parish chief, the Mutongole, all of those we are serving in the local government of Buganda. And they never wanted to ashamed the Kabaka. And in most cases, those people used to put in more effort to encourage people to work together. Anthropologists say this kind of communal behavior is common in a closed society. This was a place where you knew each other. You could, with certainty, um, identify with all people that came in to celebrate with you. If it was working the garden, they would come and say, okay, today or this week we're going to be working at Hillary's garden. So the men come in, the children come in, the wives or, or, the, or, the, or the women come in. As people are working the garden, others are preparing food, others are working the beer. But experts think this cohesiveness has since broken down. Previously, community roads like this one were kept in a perfect shape by the locals because of the close relationship they had. But nowadays, everybody has abdicated this responsibility, leaving the roads in bad shape. Society experts attribute the change in the way of life to education, urbanization, and ease of communication among the locals. They are now encouraging locals to find a way of combining the old and the new. We just have to be adaptive to change. But then the issue is how does this, how do we take on this change and then how does it then, how do we harmonize what we had in the old and what is new so that we come up with something that is acceptable to our current generation. One thing the anthropologists are sure of is that there is no turning back to how things were. But for people like Wire, they will live to cherish these memories of their African way of life and hope the most positive aspects can be incorporated into modern life. Hilara Yesiga, CGTN, Wakiso, Central Uganda.